Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Anne Marie with Anne Marie Creates and I just wanted to pop on really quickly and share a little project that I made. I, this is not a design team project or it's not for anybody else but me. Um, so I made this cute little gingy mini album. So um, it's actually a die. The gingerbread piece is a die from um, KS Craft. I got it on Amazon. Um, if you want to go find it, it's KS Craft Store, I believe, is what it's called on Amazon. Um, so the little gingerbread itself, let me find a ruler, um, from the top of its head to the bottom of its toes is about six inches. But look at this cute little chef hat. Um, that's an additional, what, inch and a half. Um, so you can see she's a little chunky. I think I have five pages. Um, I cut the the gingerbread out on my die cutting machine. I cut it out of a lightweight, the front cover and the back cover, out of a lightweight chipboard that I had laying around. Um, and then I cut, I used, I believe this is the Artisan... Um, cardstock from Country Craft Creations in the obviously the craft color. You can see I did a little inking around the edges and um, I, I covered both the front and the back of the chipboard piece, if that makes sense. Um, and it, you can hear it's super sturdy. Each individual page, um, I just cut the artisan cardstock. Um, I cut two pieces, glued them together, then put pattern paper on either side. So it's, it's very sturdy. It's not flimsy at all. So, I mean, I'm going to bring this up to the camera and I'm sorry if there's shadows. I'm filming it about a uh, quarter to seven <laughs> Eastern standard time in the morning. But, um, so, I mean, look at her. Is she not the cutest? <laughs> that, that face, I just want to smush that face. Look, so I uh, put some... This is uh, the eyes and the mouth. They are made of, not made of, I cut them out of a thinner um, foam that I have in my stash. Um, and then I just put some white, uh, a little piece of white cardstock behind it to give her a little life. Then I use some pink distress ink and use my gel pen to, or my jelly roll pen to you know, put a little, couple little dots there. I mean, look at her. And then this, her little hat is um, a glittered foam that I have in my stash. Don't remember where I got it. Um, I've had it for so many years. But the die set, you get so many, so many pieces in the die set. Obviously, you get the hat and the swirly. You get the eyes. There's two different um, faces you can use. And you'll see the other one that I used um, in a minute. Look at this whisk. This is the cutest thing. Um, I just cut it out of some silver uh, mirror card. And then I just cut it out of the little black piece. I think this is the, yeah, that's the black foam. Um, the die set comes with the words recipe book. And these little peppermints, um, they, they are it. It's two pieces. So it's the white circle with the red peppermints. They are in the die set as well. I just put it on... Um, a dimensional foam dot and just made it give it a little bit of dimension. Um, the little dress, you can't really see it very well. Um, but it's, I mean, it's super cute. Her little dress and then her little collar. Sorry, I was getting a call. <laughs> um, yeah, and then the, the die set does, did it come with this piece? I don't think so. The part that turns it into a mini album maybe it did i think i took this from another die set from another um manufacturer but you know you can just use i use some medium weight chipboard and again i put two pieces back to back and just attached it and cut some rings um i mean cut some holes for the it cuts holes for the rings and i just added some one inch rings um, i have a bunch of trims here from my stash and this piece, I have to figure out how to keep this in place. This is a little dangle I made. I might actually punch a hole over here and hang the dangle over here so that you could see it better. But let me show you real quick. 
So yeah, this is to dangle this little gingerbread cabochon. Um, well, it's a cabochon, but it has a little, um, what is that little, that little hole hanger thingy um, twisted into it. This actually came from somebody, um, I purchased this from her, I think her name is Atelis Craft on Instagram. She makes these by hand and she sells them. I mean, look at how perfect that was. So as soon as I saw this gingerbread um, die set, I knew I had to get these because it, it all just went together really, really well. I mean, look, and then I added some, you could hear the little jingle bells. And you'll see why I chose the teal color. And then I just made a couple of these little dangles. I have like some heishi beads in my stash. Um, yeah, so super, super cute. In, well, in my opinion, it's super cute. Okay, so I'm just going to show you really quickly. Let me set this down. I The paper collection that I used is one of my all-time favorites. Um, I don't know if you all know, or you probably do. Um, I'm a design team member for Country Craft Creations. Um, and I just love everything Country Craft Creations. This paper collection, I want to say it came out last year, last Christmas. It could have been the one before. I just don't know the dates. But this is called Sugar and Spice. And so this is gingerbread th themed sheets, cut aparts, and tags. Um, I use the 8x8. I also have the 12 by 12 So um, I'm good. I probably should have checked to make sure this was available, um, but you can go over to www.countrycraftcreations.com and see if this is in stock. And if it's not, these papers are exclusive to Country Craft Creations. Um, and Tamara, she if it if they sell out, she restocks them pretty quickly. So go check that out. So that's the eight by eight. It's also available in twelve by twelve. Um, another thing. Uh, for that collection, there's also a 12 by 12 size recipe cards. Um, so you get six recipe cards on the sheet. Uh, and it obviously it coordinates really well <laughs> with the paper collection. So you see you have all these. And then on the back, there's the directions. So what I did, I did have to trim those down a little bit. But I'll show you that in a second. So I have, I made this little tag. So this was one of the cut aparts. Uh, or the tags, sorry. Um, I just cut out a scallop circle. I think this is a two-inch scallop circle. And I have these little paper clip things. I probably should put something to cover that up on the back. And it could turn anything into a paper clip. So I thought that was really cute. And then I just had this little, made this little booklet, little pull-out booklet. You can put some photos of whatever, if you're baking cookies or whatever. And it just kind of slides in there. You can see that paper. I mean, isn't it just adorable? And then I slid that in there, and then I just added the paper clip. Then over here, <clears throat> look at that adorable paper. This, again, is one of the tags, like an ephemera type of a tag. But you can see here, this is the recipe card. I did have to trim them down just a little bit to fit because the gingerbread is not, you know, quite big enough. Um, I added an eyelet in the top left. And just added a couple of little things that I had in my stash, like this tiny little Christmas tree. It's a clay piece and some heat, red and white heishi beads. <clears throat> and that just lives right there. And then this is the... I mean, look at that guy. He is so cute. So this is the other version of face. Oh, I forgot to put the white dots on his cheeks. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that. So there's his little curly cue, and you can see the little icing pieces. Um, this bow, oh, I forget what, that is not the, that is not the bow from, that came with the die set. I took that from another die set, and I can't remember which one that is, but if I can remember, I'll link it below. But this right here, this little banner, this is the... Uh, I think I have it over here. It that is a scrap diva designs bow. Let me see. I thought I had it out. Mm, I must have put it away. Sorry, I put it away. But it is. I think it's just called. Oh no, I didn't. Here it is. <laughs> here it is. It is the scrap diva bow banner. So you get all these pieces, and that's what it makes. So. Um, I just thought that was adorable. I was going to put this on the front cover until um, 
I just, I changed my mind and I, you know, put the cookie sheet on the front cover. So here is the, did I show this one? No, this is the second um, recipe card. Again, I left it blank. Um, again, just made a couple of little uh, dangly things. Look at the cute little Sienna. And again, that just slides right there. Oops, what am I doing wrong? I'm doing something wrong. Get in there. Yeah. So again, I'm going to bring him up so you can see him. Look at him. He is adorable. That banner is just so cute. All right, so then we have the next page. Love the play. It's hard to keep this, to keep this even, so please bear with me. Um, love that plaid. That is just so cute. And here is the next recipe card. I love that, you know, it obviously has the, you can put the name of the recipe, the ingredients, and the directions from the kitchen of. I just think that's so, so cute. So again, here's just another little, couple little dangles. And you can see here I have these little clay Christmas trees. And that's one of the ephemera pieces. And that just slides right under there. I made this little red piece into a, a belly band kind of so that it slides down. The next one, so I bet you're sensing the theme here. Um, I put the eyelet on the wrong side, but it worked out. <laughs> so there's a little present and a little red bead. Look at the cute little... Uh, gingerbread house and then this this is a little Christmas tree cabochon that I, I think I got that from a happy crafter shop um, from in, on Instagram and look at this oh snap I thought that was so cute okay that is one of the ephemera pieces then here is the next page official cookie taster and then this is just a little um, Christmas tree cabochon I had in my my cabochon stash. Don't remember when I got it or where I got it. So this is the recipe card for that page. And this is another one of those little gingies. Isn't she adorable? And just, you know, a little, a little dangle to give it a little bit of life. And that slides right in there. And then this is the last page. The inside back cover. Um, this little bobble. How cute is that? The color was perfect. I knew I was saving this for something. But this is the last recipe card. Again, there's that little gingerbread house again. And this, again, I did like a little belly band. I try to keep some consistency. Um, look at the cute little reindeer. These are clay pieces. Um, and this, oh, this cracks me up. All I want for Christmas is a man made of dough. Um, <laughs> don't we all, sister, don't we all. <laughs> um, and then that's the back cover. And then I put my little label on it. Um, so I just love it. Like these trims, I actually had some teal colored trim on. I tied onto the rings, but it just wasn't working. And um, then I remembered I had this gold eyelash trim, this gold, white, and red eyelash trim over there in my my trim drawer. And it just, it just made it. I mean, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you. Hope you like it. Um, leave me a comment. Let me know. Do you think this would be a good gift for somebody? Um, you know, I know my sister cooks a lot of or bakes a lot of Christmas cookies, and I just think this would be super cute, but I think I'm keeping this one for myself. So, um, thanks for humoring me, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.